so my background is in uh, robotics, human machine interaction, and adaptive systems. Uh, and I've been uh, collaborating uh, with Philip and Rob and Philip uh, uh, and our students to, um, uh, for the past six years. Uh, and uh, so far, we've been interested in two uh, research questions. Uh, one is looking at um, understanding communication for movement, uh, and the other is uh, learning and autonomy in the context of uh, interactive systems. So the first question, uh, communication for movement, uh, we have been interested to understand uh, how interactive systems can perceive the effective and meaningful contents of human full body movement. Um, and also, if we can use that understanding uh, to also generate uh, movement, particularly on non anthropomorphic embodiments, that can be perceived by human observers to be uh, effective. Uh, and here we've been inspired by ideas that have been originally developed within the dance community, particularly the band movement analysis, uh, and also uh, applying uh, more data driven uh, computer science uh, methods. Uh, the second research question that we've been active in is uh, learning for autonomous interaction. So how can we uh, generate interactive behaviors for these interactive systems that sustain long-term uh, engaging interaction uh, with its users? Uh, how do these systems adapt over time? How do they learn uh, from the visitors and from the interaction? Uh, and here we've been investigating uh, biologically inspired motivational mechanisms. Uh, so why does the system choose to act? Um, the idea is that we use this kind of uh, 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 intrinsic motivational mechanisms that drive action and explorations. And one of these drives that we've been interested in is uh, the concept of curiosity. So how can we formulate curiosity as a motivating factor that motivates the system to take action and to interact uh, uh, with human participants? Um, so. For this, uh, uh, for this uh, synthetic cognition streams, some of the uh, research uh, questions that uh, uh, I'm interested uh, in is to think about how can we improve the perceptual capabilities uh, of these systems. So we want to uh, be able to perceive the internal state of the mechanisms uh, with uh, proprioception. Uh, we also want to improve our understanding of what's happening in the environment by perceiving uh, airflow, temperature, light, so kind of how the environment around the system is changing. And then we are also very interested to uh, perceive uh, the visitors, so the human state and activity, uh, both their um, kind of occup the occupancy and how humans are moving through the space, uh, both kind of the quantity and the quality of the movement, as well as more abstract concepts like interest uh, and engagement. Um, and we're I'm particularly interested in sensory systems that can be used simultaneously to uh, sense all of these things. So that sense both proprioceptive uh, information as well as information about the environment and information about the interaction. Uh, a second interest is improved actuation. So both developing novel actuation mechanisms, but also uh, thinking about leveraging existing simple mechanisms to generate complex behaviors uh, from spatially distributed networks of actuators. Uh, we also uh, want to do more work on improving the hardware firmware backbone of the systems, uh, improving our signal processing, power, and communications, um, and also thinking about uh, graceful degradation in a more formal way. So how can we, uh, uh, if we want to use these systems uh, for longer periods of, period of time, we want to be able to robust to uh, sensor and actuator failure. Uh, and then on uh, the um, uh, cognitive side, uh, we're interested in developing uh, new ideas for interaction design. Uh, and here, I'm interested both in fully autonomous and shared autonomy behavior generation. So for fully autonomous systems, uh, how can we exploit uh, and uh, understand uh, learning algorithms and learning architectures? Uh, and a particular interest for these systems is distributed learning. So we have a system that is distributed in space and time, uh, and how do we um, uh, develop learning algorithms that are suitable for these kinds of systems? Uh, what are the motivational drives that would drive the learning process? Uh, and then also, kind of, what's the trade-off between customizing 
to each individual visitor versus generalizing across populations uh, of visitors. Uh, and then on the shared autonomy uh, side, uh, how can the sy these systems uh, best work together with human creators? Uh, so can we design mechanisms that facilitate and support uh, the development of novel performance? So artwork like uh, uh, dance, uh, movement generation that is shared between uh, the autonomous system uh, and, human, uh, and human creators. Um, so I am, uh, to close, I'm very excited to uh, get started with this project and I look forward to working with many of you uh, and I'm very happy to answer uh, any questions at the end of the panel.